Take a deep breath, because what has just arrived shifts the narrative in a way that dismantles intellectual comfort zones. We now have new images, recent studies, and a scientist, Avi Loeb, publicly betting that the search for interstellar technological artifacts has just entered the scientific agenda for real. The visitor we've been tracking, 3i Atlas, has accumulated a set of signals so unsettling that it can no longer be treated as just another comet. In this revised script, I'm going to bring together everything that has come out the transcription of that viral video, Doctor, Loeb's essay, and the public evidence, and show why we must discuss, clearly and directly, the possibility that this object forces us to rethink categories, comet, asteroid, metallic structure, or something else. Open your attention windows. We will start with visual and empirical facts. Then I'll synthesize the anomalies, the 12, that hardly fit into a single explanation and finally connect everything to the broader debate. Dr. Loeb launched with his public bet on discovering extraterrestrial technological evidence by 2030. Brace yourselves. There are numbers, alignments, spectra, and hypotheses ranging from the natural to the audaciously artificial. Recent images of 3i Atlas have reached timelines and they have everything needed to be called paradigm shifting moments. We have high quality amateur observations recorded by both amateur and professional astronomers showing the object brighter and easier to see than before. Time lapses reveal a tail and, paradoxically, an anti-tail, a structure pointing toward the, the parent star of our solar system, the opposite of what a typical jet would do. At the same time, another object appeared in the neighborhood which, at the precise moment of a geometric alignment with Earth and Atlas, also displayed an anti-tail. Pause. Think about that. Two distinct bodies, coming from opposite directions, synchronizing the same visual phenomenon at the exact moment they align with Earth. This isn't just visually striking, it is a pattern demanding explanation. Amid this wave of imagery, a spectroscopy study was released describing Atlas as metal bearing, in plain terms, rich in metal. The team attempts to frame it under a naturalistic narrative collision with a primitive chondrite, mixing of materials, and thermal events. Except any narrative that combines large cometary jets, carbon monoxide, and dioxide emissions, and simultaneously a high metallic content sounds odd because a comet, in practice and in school books, is a dirty ice ball, not a metallic object with jets. The physical problem explained directly. When we convert these observations into orders of magnitude, the embarrassment walks right through the front door. Massive jets require mass and energy to remain active. If Atlas is only a few kilometers wide, it does not contain enough material to sustain such enormous outflows for that long without falling apart. It would either fragment or erode to the point of losing noticeable mass. Additionally, the presence of heavy metals does not match the classical comet model. And the theory of a collision with a chondrite does not explain why this metallic object continues ejecting colossal jets without losing structural integrity. This leads us to an unavoidable dilemma. One, either completely unknown natural processes are at play. Two, or non-natural mechanisms explain its coherence, direction, and composition. The bet and the paradigm shift. This is where Avi Loeb's text changes the game. Loeb states that the search for technological artifacts is not fantasy. It is a scientific hypothesis with testable parameters. He reinforces this with a public bet that technological evidence will be discovered by 2030. His reasoning framework is simple. Systems older than ours exist in the billions. If any civilization survived long enough, their technological artifacts could cross paths with our system. The recent period marks a shift. Atlas the Rubin Observatory, and the Galileo Project create the perfect combination of opportunity plus technology. Loeb reminds us that scientific method requires courage, place unpopular hypotheses on the table, and allow evidence to decide. Possible hypotheses, from natural to engineered. Considering all available evidence, four main hypotheses are currently under analysis to explain the observed phenomena. The first is the orthodox natural explanation which seeks to combine elements such as impact, presence of metals, and volatile compounds. 
However, this traditional approach consistently fails to explain crucial characteristics such as synchronized jets and the maintenance of the object's structural integrity. The second hypothesis involves unknown cometary physics suggesting the existence of new material segregation processes that we do not yet fully understand. While this is a valid possibility, this explanation lacks robust observational support that could validate such mechanisms. The third possibility considers activation by an external agent, where magnetic fields or specific gravitational effects would act as triggers for the observed behaviors. This hypothesis, however, would require an extremely improbable coincidence or the presence of energy sources not yet identified. Finally, we have the technological hypothesis, which can consistently explain the directed jets, observed synchronizations, peculiar metallic composition, and persistent structural integrity. This explanation, however, requires that we seriously consider the possibility of non-human engineering. It is essential to emphasize that this last hypothesis should not be treated as fantasy or unfounded speculation. It must be approached as a legitimate scientific hypothesis. Nothing more, nothing less, deserving rigorous investigation like any other explanatory proposal. The absence of complete raw data, edited imagery, institutional silence, and even reports of planetary defense activations create an opaque environment for scientific investigation. This is not necessarily conspiratorial, but it certainly represents an inadequate environment for the development of science. Under ideal conditions, institutions should release complete spectra of observed objects, publish detailed light curves that allow independent analyses, facilitate data access so external researchers can conduct their own investigations, and coordinate high-resolution global observations that maximize the quality of collected data. Loeb insists on exactly this approach. Open, verifiable, and honest science. His position is that total transparency not only strengthens the credibility of discoveries, but also allows the global scientific community to contribute their specific expertise to solve complex questions. The current environment of data restriction and limited communication hinders genuine scientific progress and fuels unnecessary speculation. Science thrives on transparency, where hypotheses can be tested, refuted, or confirmed through independent and collaborative analyses. Before we conclude, recall the complete dossier that makes this case unique in history. Thirteenth anomaly, impossible targeting precision, Trajectory that aims with surgical accuracy at Jupiter's hill radius, passing within 35,000 miles of the 33.24 million mile gravitational capture zone. This represents a 0.004% probability, equivalent to firing a projectile from the Andromeda galaxy and hitting a specific coin at Yankee Stadium. The 62,000 mile course correction from non-gravitational acceleration appears specifically designed to achieve this impossible accuracy, suggesting the object is deliberately targeting Jupiter's Lagrange points, the premium parking spots of the solar system where we place our own spacecraft for maximum efficiency. Twelfth anomaly, extremely collimated jets, precision that defies natural rotation, focused streams of material with laser-like accuracy, Natural cometary jets should be chaotic and dispersed due to irregular rotation and surface features. These jets maintain impossible precision and directionality. Eleventh anomaly, non-gravitational acceleration. Mysterious force pushing the object. Course corrections totaling 62,000 miles that cannot be explained by solar radiation pressure or gravitational influences. This acceleration appears deliberately calculated to achieve the precise trajectory needed for the 13th anomaly. 10th anomaly, energy discrepancy, impossible energy for the size, radiating more energy than its mass should allow. Thermal emissions exceed what solar heating could produce for an object of this size and composition. 9th anomaly, sudden bluish brightness, completely atypical pattern, luminosity changes that don't match any known celestial mechanics. The object's brightness variations suggest internal energy sources rather than simple solar reflection. Eighth anomaly, intriguing arrival direction, alignment with the WOW signal approaching from the same region of space as humanity's most famous potential extraterrestrial communication. 
The probability of this directional coincidence adds another layer of statistical impossibility. Certain observations may become decisive. Detailed temporal spectroscopy distinguishes controlled jets from natural sublimation. Thermal mapping and polarimetry metallic surfaces have unique signatures. Monitoring future alignments, if patterns repeat, it's not coincidence. Search for artificial electromagnetic emissions, even weak signals would be revealing. Ultra-high resolution imaging, any unusual geometric symmetry would be decisive. We are at a point where science must be bold and rigorous simultaneously. Atlas is not just a strange comet, it is an object that challenges entire astronomical categories. Loeb has placed the technological hypothesis on the table in a mature, scientific manner. And Atlas, with its accumulated anomalies, demands that we do the same. And you? What do you think? Do these patterns convince you that something truly new is happening with Atlas? Comment below with your theories, share this video to broaden the discussion, and keep following because this story is just beginning.